and welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield, you are on the air with Congressman Pocan. Hello, Representative Pocan. I spend most of my time as executive director for Democracy Watch News trying to get the U.S. media to report on the fact that the United States is currently ranked 45th in the world in terms of press freedom on the World Press Freedom Index by Reporters Without Borders. Perhaps one of the most unreported stories of our time, but only a very small number of news outlets will actually mention that fact due to a kind of self-censorship. And by the way, the U.S. ranking has been declining steadily since 2002, when we were ranked 17th. And I presented information on this issue at an international conference at the, a at the Hague earlier this year, as part of the Summit for Democracy Associated Events that was sponsored by UNESCO. And I also corresponded with UN Special Rapporteur Irene Khan on this issue, but in the United States, there is a complete lack of accountability on the part of U.S. journalists, editors, producers, and publishers on addressing this issue. And unfortunately, most members of the U.S. Congress are e unaware that the World Press Freedom Index even exists, except for Representative uh, Jayapal, who asked me for a briefing. But would you like a briefing on this issue, including some potential legislative uh, uh, remedies to address the issue, including a national shield law, the Raskin's Press Act? If you would, I would love to contact your office and give you as much information on this as possible. Yeah, I, I would just recommend, like, and as a member of Congress, reach out to the office, please. There you go. Yeah, it, it really is, is you know, quite remarkable. Also, um, I, I thought you might find this interesting. Mitt Romney is complaining that right-wing talk radio has radicalized the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. um, just a reminder, uh, I was on Air America, as were, you know, as was Rachel Maddow and a bunch of my colleagues, um, when, and we were on 54 or 57, I think it was 54 uh, least clear channel stations. That's how Air America worked, is, you know, we were renting these stations on a year-to-year -year lease. Um, Mitt Romney's company, Bain Capital, bought uh, clear channel, and one by one started saying, oh, well, this station's not making money. We're going to flip it to sports, which is actually less profitable than what we were. Um, but it was, uh, you know, during the Bain Capital tenure that uh, Air America lost so many stations that they just couldn't, you know, sustain an advertising base anymore and went bankrupt. Um, ironic? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, and, and it is this, this conservative radio in particular base that's really ginning up these calls and these death threats, but the fact that like they're texting members and their spouses, um, you know, harassing them, you know, all this is really saying, Tom, is if he were to become speaker and a tough vote came up, this is what he would do to make you vote his way uh, for his caucus. Who would want that, right? Who wants to constantly receive these threats? So that's why I think he's losing ground. I don't see how there's ever a speaker, Jim Jordan, but um, right now the Republican conference isn't there. Yeah, okay. All right, thanks, Tom and Mark. Really appreciate you guys doing this. Okay. Congressman, Congressman Mark Pocan is with us. It's the uh, Friday edition of Middays with Mark. Pocan, you can find his website at pocan.house.gov, and you can tweet him at Rep Mark Pocan, or XM, or whatever you call it. This is the Tom Hartman Program.